Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to react to this Daily Caller video. They go to Texas and they ask them about the migrant crisis and people are very honest, very blunt. Then they go over to New York City and I think we're going to find that there's a lot of virtual signaling. People want to appear to sound compassionate and, and sound like, you know, they're all for this whole sanctuary city type of thing. But when it comes to the reality of the situation, it's a completely different story. When it comes to illegal immigrants being in their town, being in their local community, their attitude seems to differ. So I think this interview exposes a lot of hypocrisy. So stay tuned. I'm here in Texas and we're gonna ask Texas, what do they think of migrants being bused to New York City and Washington DC? And I'm in New York to see if these immigrants are being welcomed with open arms. Let's go find out. Texas is busing migrants coming from across the border yeah. into New York here. Yeah. So what's your opinion on that? In a city like this is already overpopulated, may not be a good choice. So maybe like in a less populated area or state. But it is also super crowded, so I don't know if it'd be the best. Populated. Yeah. Yeah. So it could it could be an issue. The state is already a populated state. Like we have a bunch of people here. Like it's already populated. What do you think about the governor of Texas busing migrants to the city of New York and DC? Now we're having these mayors start to complain and saying they're being overrun by the migrants. What's your thoughts on this whole situation? Well, I think, uh, you know, the governor of Texas, finally, he's doing something good. It's been a problem for a while now since Biden got here. These liberal, liberal people down in New York, you know, they're finally getting to see what, what we're getting now here. Man. Exactly. That's the difference. This has been going on for as long as we can remember, especially since this administration took over. And that's why it's called a migrant crisis. The people in these border towns in Texas have been dealing with this. But then when they complain about it, when they say that they don't care for this, they don't want this happening in their town, they're called racists. They're called, you know, people who are incompassionate. They're called, you know, inhumane. Their, their attitude is inhumane. Open the borders. There are no borders. Sanctuary city. People love to say those sort of things, but when it comes to the reality, when it comes to their backyard, then they've got something to say. Now they want better security at the border. Now they want our borders to be protected. Now they want the wall to be built. And we've been dealing it with it for a while down here in Texas. You know, people down closer to the border as well, they've been dealing with it for a couple, a couple years now, you know, all these migrants flowing in and uh, just telling all those people from the north, all the liberals in the north in New York, F you, dude. Fuck you, all right? This is what you get. Man, now you're getting to experience what we are getting to experience for the past year. Now what New York is doing is they're saying like, okay, we're full, like, we know we can't handle this, this influx. What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's like hypocritical of, of New York to do that? I don't think it's necessarily hypocritical uh, because it's not like they're saying, no, we don't want any immigrants, but the city is packed. They it is hypocritical because when it comes to election time, these same people look down on others who want better security at the border and tell them, that they're bigoted, that they're xenophobic. These same people, when it doesn't affect them, you know, they've got a lot to say about how you should be okay with it when it doesn't affect them. But now that it's affected them, apparently 50% of hotels in New York City are now being used to house migrants. And it's not looking good. These hotels are getting trashed. These hotels are, you know, they, they have children running around unsupervised. All sorts of things are, are going on. It's being exposed. And then my other question for you two is, how much does it cost per day to feed these migrants? So in our hotel, it's $383 for 5,000 people. And that's just for one day worth of meals. In January of this year, it was reported that Mayor Eric Adams signed a $275 million contract that would fund the migrants staying in hotels across the city for the next six months a budget of around $55,000 per migrant. However, the city is running out of hotel rooms with Adams stating that some hotels don't want to shelter migrants. Carlos provided us with an inside look at the Row NYC that may give us some insight as to why. The migrants being in those hotels have destroyed them. There's a lot of alcohol in these rooms. Housekeeping is there all week and they'll clean it. And by the end of the night, it's, it's there's kids getting drunk together, there's people hooking up with each other. I even have seen reports 
of certain managers who are using this to get intimate with people. It seems like the, the hotel is one big party. There's multiple guns in these rooms as well. The alarming thing is that this hotel is meant to be a family hotel. One situation that I'll never forget was I was on my lunch break and I was at Walgreens. And while I was in line, I saw one of the migrants sticking alcohol into their children's backpack. And they stick them in the children's backpack because they know we don't, we wouldn't dare to check a, ch a child's backpack. They do this kind of stuff all the time, uh, whether it be drugs, whether it be alcohol, whether it be a gun. They stick it in the strollers, under the baby. People have seen the reality of the situation. Now that they have to deal with just a fraction of what people in Texas have been dealing with, they're now saying, oh, the city is overrun. The city is already to capacity. Well, we can say that about the country. The country is to capacity in terms of resources, in terms of the areas where, you know, that are inhabited, the, it, they are to capacity. And we need to be realistic when we talk about how many migrants we can allow in. And they have to be vetted. There has to be a way of ensuring that we're taking the best, like other countries do. Australia does that. You can't just go there. <laughs> well, maybe things are changing now, but from as long as I remember. At the same time, it is a balance. God, it's just like some great A hypocrisy from Texas. I do think it is pretty messed up of Texas to handle it like that. I guess it's better than sending them back to where they came from, of course, but uh, it's so kind of disappointing that they wouldn't just be willing to, you know, help them out in their own state. I <laughs> My goodness. Also, Texas just needs to deal with it because we're overrun. Texas just needs to deal with it. No, your politicians declared your city a sanctuary city so they could virtual signal and act like they're better than the evil Republicans to play politics. They declared your city a sanctuary city, one of the sanctuary cities. Why would you want them in a racist Republican run area? Send them to where they are welcomed. We do when immigrants do come to America though. So, but New York City, uh, I don't know. They shouldn't be complaining. New York should not be. Yeah, we want them to come, but not in our backyard. Complaining. They invited them. They told them, you're welcome here. We are a sanctuary city. Exactly. They have plenty of resources. It's our taxpayers' money. It's time that the other states take responsibility too. We're all one nation. And they can't handle it either, but look at us, you know, small towns. We're getting overrun. It's been going on for a while. It's a problem. And uh, do you think it's, um, I mean, what, what's your thoughts that, you know, these, these mayors are the types to say, hey, we're sanctuary cities. We, we, welcome, we welcome these migrants with open arms and, and now they're saying that they're, they're finally being um, overrun. What are, your, what are your thoughts on that? That they're finally seeing the, the issues that Texans are finally seeing. You know, we're small towns. I said that, I said that already. They're bigger cities, you know, and they have all this stuff and they're already complaining, but this has been going on for months. Now they get, they get to see how we feel. Yeah. Exactly. A small town is not going to have the same resources that New York City is going to have. A small town is not going to have the same number of hotels, the sheer number of hotels that New York City has. So it makes more sense to send them to the biggest city, doesn't it? Have these like sanctuary cities all of a sudden who are welcoming to migrants with their open arms and all of a sudden when the migrants are actually getting busted all of a sudden they're like, whoa, 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 I don't know if we actually want these people in here. Yeah, no, dude, they, they don't care. They actually don't care. All they care is about like this woke narrative. You know, they just want to be part of something that's helping out people. But when it actually comes to actually, you know, going in, being in their cities, they don't want it. They don't want these people there. It seems so petty. And uh, like, it's just sort of ignoring the humanity of people that are coming over here to a bad situation from something that's probably much worse. And uh, it's just such a f***ing disgrace that we can't get together and try to help in a way that's healthy for everybody. I think well, that's exactly what the Texas governor is doing. He's sending them to other cities who can also help and do their part. That is a way of ensuring that we all get together and help. You do your part, New York City. How about that? That's what you voted for, right? 
You voted for Eric Adams, who believes that we should welcome migrants. You voted for that, so that city can do its part. It's a bit um, unreasonable. Texas is a bit extreme in general as a state. I love to see it. I love to see him out of Texas. Like I love to see other people or other um, officials kind of getting a taste of their own medicine. You know, we've been putting up with it for too long. Um, you know, paying tax tax money or you know just kind of like you know contributing to basically like their own mess and it's time for them to you know handle their own mess they keep blaming you know greg abbott texas texas inhumane inhumane but what they really need to do is hold this administration accountable because this administration started all of this and they've barely gone to the border to see you know what's going on so that's who they need to be holding accountable not worrying about texas when Texas is just dealing with, you know, what they've been dealing with for a very long time now. And they're only sending people to New York City who are a fraction of the people that they have to deal with. A fraction. All of the Texas border is littered with clothes, with bottles. These people are dirty. When, they've, when they're at the shelters, they have restrooms, but do they defecate in the restrooms? No, they defecate wherever they want. We need to share. We need to share this. And I'm sorry, that might sound harsh what she's saying, but that's the reality of the situation. If you go to these New York City hotels, they are being trashed. People who are there experiencing it firsthand are saying that these hotels are being trashed. Now, obviously, we're not saying it's everybody, but generally speaking, People are coming to this country with a sense of entitlement because they've been told that you're going to be welcomed. You're going to be, you're going to be put here. You're going to be sent here and you're going to stay in a hotel. You don't think word gets back. So they're coming here being told you're going to stay in a hotel. You're going to be given car seats. You're going to be given identification. You might even be able to work. Because some of them are working according to reporters in New York City. They're working with the ID that they've been given. You're going to be given an allowance. You're going to be given three square meals a day. A lot of money is going to be spent on you to accommodate you. This is what they're being told. So when they come here, they come with a sense of entitlement. And a lot of them are not valuing what they're receiving. They want more. Problem, because we have been having this problem all along the Texas border. And it's time that the other states begin to realize what is going on and how maybe to help us so that we can stop this. They, they basically dug their own hole and um, now they, they're, they're crying about it, but we, I mean, we, us in Texas had to deal with it. The state is a state, it lands land, you know? So it's like, they could be here, why can't they be there, you know? So it's like, they're gonna take our resources, our hotels, our, our food and stuff, why can't they do it there? The to quote Joyless Behar, you got what you voted for. Liberals are all f***ing tripping. Absolute facts. But this is how we hold these governors accountable. This is how we hold them accountable. You are declaring all this sanctuary city rhetoric, so now you can deal with it too. You can help out. Everything they're complaining about in New York, they've been dealing with it in Texas and in our border towns for the longest time and are still dealing with it. These governors, these mayors, people are holding them to their words. So let me know what you think. Do you think there's some hypocrisy there? Thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and God willing, I will see you in the next video.